along your journey, you said you're a very resourceful person. You found stuff along the way. Um, you mentioned Bloom for Catholic Women, and I know you'd mentioned me in an email. They have a conference coming up. Uh, you'd mentioned there's this worldwide healing conference coming up. We've got Integrity Restored. Because could you maybe share a little bit about those? healing things coming up. Um, and then if someone's listening to this recording years from now, um, where they can go to find the resources that you found helpful and validating your experience. Cool. Yeah. Um, I'm going to make a correction because, uh, bloom for Catholic women has courses and things, but it, I haven't found support groups. Okay. So I go to bloom for women, which is, okay. I guess just, a, it's not the Catholic version of, okay. uh, of it. Um, and yeah, they have uh, they have that conference coming up on the twenty second to twenty third of October, and um, then there's the virtual Catholic Healing Conference that's coming up. I believe it's this weekend, okay. um, and uh, that will be in the show notes as mm -hmm. far yeah. as I'll put them in the link below. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and I think. Uh, Searching things like betrayal trauma support, betrayal, knowing that like, it is help for betrayal trauma that you need, that you want um, help that is trauma informed. So they understand that it's not just like a forgive and forget, like you experience trauma here. Um, and there's a credential. It's a group called APSATS, which is a credential like... Um, a certification that counselors can get and it is a credential that is focused on the partner so they will know what betrayal trauma is what you're going through and things like that um, so uh, yeah so that's the bloom for women and those are their the retreats there's also there are a lot of great things but the ones that um, uh, I did mention a blog that has like descriptions of gaslighting and things mm -hmm. that's called partner hope. And it's a woman who is both, um, a, a professional in this field and she's gone through it herself. Her name is Michelle Mays and you can literally go into the blog and just type in what, whatever you're looking for. And it, I'm, there's like, there's tons of really good, accurate information there that will help you at least give words to what you're going through yeah. so you can know what what's going on yeah. um and uh yeah there's this uh dr jake porter who is um on you can find he has his own not ministry but or organization that helps both people in addiction and the partners and he has a lot of great content, even just on his Instagram. He really gets what the partner is going through. So I have found his um, his content really helpful as well. Okay. There's just so many things. But um, knowing that it's betrayal trauma, that is what you hope to find healing from is uh, definitely a really good start. Yeah. 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 And I think that just the name itself is validating. Like you've been betrayed. That's what happened. You know, there was a loyalty there. There was broken trust was shattered. You know, you were violated by this person's lack of loyalty to you. And, and you know, the women, I think, like you'd mentioned at the top, li literally feel so alone. Like you're going to church and you're there with like 500 other families and you're thinking like, I'm the one struggling with this. But like if every woman on the world who's wrestling with this right now just became like, let's say they just became illuminated, like some lightning bug or whatever. I'm telling you, the earth would look like the sun. I mean, the whole planet would be ablaze with women going through this right now. And if you can just find each other and encourage each other, validate each other, smack each other upside the head if you need to, like whatever is needed to help wake each other up or hug each other or get each other through this, it's got to be done. Which reminds me, there's also a Facebook groups that you could join for betrayed partners so that women literally from all over the world are connecting and they're just like, hey, I'm going through this, which can sometimes be a little triggering to read everything. So just use with discretion. If it's too much, just don't read it. If you, if you need to, if you, if you're reaching out for help, I've reached out for help many times there and people are always answering. Yeah. And so the fight for love, same thing as like the book, the podcast, um, the ministry, like they have their own, um, partner hope has their own Facebook group. So there, there are Facebook groups where you can connect with other women. Okay. And that when you said like the light bugs or not the light bugs, like just like lighting up and like finding each other. Yes, like there is definitely a lot of room there for that. 
So, yeah. And it would be awesome if we could, like, light up with, like, empowerment and, like, as we move through this healing to rediscover, like, who we've always been this whole time. Hopefully relieving to women to realize you don't have to settle for this. This is not something that just needs to be the part of your life for the rest of your natural life. Like there's freedom that can be found. And, you know, that looks like different things in different people's situations. You know, but what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll rewind and listen to this and I'll listen to all those links that you just gave and I'll find those websites. I'll find those blogs. I'll stick them in the show notes. It'll be a whole laundry list worth of stuff, you know, for the <laughs> listeners to go through, but th they need that. And I think there's just going to be a lot of hope, a lot of encouragement and God willing, a lot of healing. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that little clip, but if you want to see the whole episode where this came from, just click the link here. And in the meantime, we want to invite you to help us share this message. And there's a couple things you can do real quick. Number one, if you like or comment or share this video, YouTube will actually show it to more people. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. We release videos every single day and you'll be notified as soon as those come out. If you want to help us also to spread this message, you can support us at patreon.com slash Jason Everett. That helps us to create these videos and show them to the whole world. God bless. Thank you.